Tradition, I most readily respond to Pastor. Well, Pastor, would you like us to like us to sit or stand? What's your tradition? Or whatever you'd like. You don't have one. <laughs> you know, it's whatever. Because you know, it's non-denominational. So oh, I, I see. I, I see. But it would probably be rude if I said, "Okay, everybody in one big circle will hold hands." Right? <laughs> <laughs> let, let us stand. Thank you, Pastor. <clears throat> Nice to see you. We open our hearts in a spirit of prayer. Good and gracious God, we know you by many names. You come to us in many guises. We know you, O oh God, as our creator, the creator of the universe the maker of heaven and of earth. We know you, O God, as the author of life and the initiator of the still small voice in our hearts where you whisper to us comfort and direction. Holy One, Holy God, we come to you this day and ask your blight guidance and blessing. Bless all who have gathered here with insight and peace, with patience and understanding, and indeed with clear vision of the way that you would have us all move together, respecting one another and looking after those whose needs are most grave. Bless us, refresh us, and help us that we may be your people of unity and joy. In your great name we pray. And together we say, Amen. Pastor, thank you very much. Happy goings. So, in a 10 o'clock church service, we're on Main Street. You're welcome. <laughs> Take care, Pastor. Bye bye. Okay. Um, thank you. Oh, we have uh, Jessica. Can we bring Jessica in? Oh, there we go. This is a dog. Uh, Jessica, if you stand by the table. You'll, the microphone's going to give this, uh, oh, we can put the dog yeah, right up there. Right. This uh, puppy was found. He's probably going to pee on the table. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks time. very scared, but he, he was found. He was, where was he found? He was found on Harrison Avenue. Um, he was turned over to Eastern Emergency Vet. He had, he's up for adoption on Friday. Nobody has claimed him. Um, so if anybody's interested um, or know of this dog, he's not microchipped. Um, we will be happy to microchip him and neuter him and hopefully someone can give him a good home. We're going to have a bidding war on that dog. Yeah, yeah, that one will be gone on, on Friday. So this is the He's the new pocket pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Well, he, he doesn't yeah. look like he likes to be in the spotlight. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Okay. Uh, John. I make a motion. 
move the town board minutes to January 15, 2013. So moved. And second. And second. Yes. 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 There was a plan filed, an environmental management and construction plan, EMNCP. Um, it was filed with the New York Public Service Commission by LIPA for the replacement of the existing insulators on the existing 10.6 mile electric transmission line between Wildwood and Riverhead substations in Brookhaven and Riverhead. Under reports, Sewer District submitted their discharge monitoring report for December 2012. Tax receiver, tax collection to date as of January 16th, $63,896,891. Tax receiver, tax collection to date as January 23rd, $66,667,113.23. Tax receiver for tax collection to date as of January 31st, $67,127,231.72. Town clerk monthly report for January, $9,658.23. Building department monthly report for January, $110,174. Annual report of the Central Pond Barons Joint Planning and Policy Commission for the years 2009 to 2010 was submitted. And the 2012 annual report of the town historian is also submitted. Under correspondence, a letter from the Jamesport South Jamesport Civic Association regarding the first cycling for the village of Jamesport. Under applications, they were all uh, special event chapter 98 applications. Uh, the first one is East End, all for the East End, A F T E E. Uh, and they are submitting their application for a two part music festival, August 19th at Monte Clara. Conclave Medical Center submitted an application for their 18th annual East End Garden Festival, May 9th and 12th, and that's at the Staples Shopping Center. American Cancer Society submitted an application for five, 5K fundraiser April 28th at Market Clive. That's it. Any town board reports? No. No. Uh, public hearings. We have one public hearing scheduled for 205. And this is a consideration of a local law amending Chapter 58 dogs of the Riverhead Code. I believe this is, I don't want to say housekeeping, this is um, to make our town code in conformance with the contract that we have with the um, North Fork Animal Welfare League. And I think the largest change was really the voluntary surrender of dogs right, right. application. So um, now it's more of an application, whereas before we just took voluntary surrender of dogs. Does anybody wish to be heard on this matter? Just stand up, state your name, and. Uh, so my name is Mary Ikin. I'm Leslie Riverhead. I live on Austin Avenue. Have a dog. Um, we have a lot of foot traffic that comes back and forth from our house. Um, we've had loitering from our house. And, um, Are you talking about this public hearing about yes. the animal shelter? No, I'm talking about the prohibited acts. Is this just for the animal shelter or is this for the entire... No, the, this is the code for our uh, dogs and animals, Chapter 58. Right. So okay, this right. is going to cover the town code for everyone in the entire town, correct? For animals. Right, for animals. Okay. Um, my dog does bark at passerby as I'm going down my street. And we've had situations where people have decided they're going to sit on my front lawn and relax. And when they see my dog, they leave. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, I'm not very happy about the language that says that any passerby who's intimidated by my dog can say that I'm in violation of the town code. Um, I think this is in the code now, is it not, Bob? Wasn't that? I didn't see anything in, in the original code. code. There's something under noise control on the dogs that cause noise over 15 minutes. 
think the uh, phrase from or otherwise harass any person, that's the new word under uh, 58-9A4, I suppose. The current provision, which is 58-9, states that uh, uh, a dog can be seized where it shows vicious habits or molests passerbys who are lawfully on the public street, public park, or school ground. I don't know whether or not said dog or domestic farm animals on a public street, and that's where it ends. Uh, so the wording that begins with four and continues through to five with harm, that's the that's the Are we talking about intimidation then? The part from the, 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 new, the new phraseology would be under subpart four, or otherwise harass any person in such a, such a manner as reasonable to cause intimidation or to put such person in reasonable apprehension of bodily harm. Well, I think that's the, really the reasonable, just because your dog barks at somebody. Yeah. If your dog is behind the fence and the dog barks even loudly and viciously, if the dog's behind the fence, the dog's behind the fence in my world. Uh, and I think legally it wouldn't be reasonably um, intimidated by this because the dog's behind the fence. Well, I think that a passerby going down my street should not be able to dictate the behavior of my dog. I think my neighbors, you know, I, I think that my neighbors have every right to say what happens on my property and if they're getting disturbed by a dog in my yard, they should have a say. But people that are walking down my street, which are large numbers on some days, should not be able to complain that my dog is barking at them if they're waiting in front of my house. But I don't think that that, that comes under, is it reasonable? If somebody's loitering in front of your house, harassing your dog, if you will, because there's somebody um, not that doesn't belong on your property, the dog's behind the fence. I'm assuming your dog's behind the fence? Yeah. Or in the house? Or on my property. Yeah. Well, if your dog's running loose, then that's a problem. It's not running loose. Okay. You have an have electric fence? No. I have a fence in my backyard. Okay, so and that's what I'm when, when I'm gardening in the front yard, I'll tie her up on a post right. next to me. All right. <laughs> that would be my point, is that I don't yeah. think that that's... If your dog is restrained behind the fence or on a lead... Well, I'm just... I'm worried about the general language that's being used that it's not specific enough when you say that a disturbed, you know, comfort piece, you know, in the vicinity, what's the vicinity? Is that my adjacent property owners? Or is that somebody who lives, you know, 200 feet up the road who decided one day they're going to walk past my house and didn't like my dog barking at them? You know, so I think that it should be more specific that people in the community or the neighborhood, my adjacent neighbors should be able to complain about my dog, but not somebody who's walking the street who doesn't live there. I understand your point. Some exceptions along this road. He's going to terminate someone in the street, even if he's in the right but that should be allowed. It should be allowed. Right. I mean, I just think that the Someone's language should be more specific. You know, especially in this the times that we've been having lately, I really, you know, I'm very happy that I have a dog that when these people walking back in front of my house who are just hanging out and looking in my backyard, they know that there's a dog there and they're not just going to well, walk. It should be they should, it should be intimidated. Yeah, that's right. right. Yes. That's what that, and it works. Yes. So I, I think she's just having some fun. Yeah, I, I guess your premise is important. No, I thought this was part of the original code. It's, 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 the other line is the new, new one. Right. No, the, the new is no, the, first, the first three sentences are already in the code. Right, so that's the bottom. The bottom is this. Of course, intimidation. There is a line with the supplement. Maybe we can change that. No, right? The line is that. Well, well, no, not, this, not the whole paragraph. If you look, just, just to be clear, paragraph 59 is being broken into two parts. Paragraph 9. 59, 58, 9 is in the Paragraph 58, 9 is one section and, and broken into a, a subpart A and a subpart B. 4, that's on the subpart A, 
includes some of the wording that's number four and now subpart B. The portion that's not underlined is what exists in the code. Right, now. that's what I'm saying. Only underlined is okay. no. That's what okay. we said. Okay. All right. That's what we said. Only underlined is no. Only underlined is no. Right. It was in the word. It was just from B to A. Right. The first sentence was almost verbatim. It's bodily more concerned now. Public street. So I think we just need the. Yeah. Okay. That's part of it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Any other comments? All right. Thank you. No, just I don't know. It says chapter fifty-eight, dogs and other animals. I thought we were just talking about dogs here. What other animals can talk? Well, the farm animals that might run around in towers. We took that out, right? We took that out. I think that was that one. No, I'm not thinking that. You got mail. All right. Anybody else wish to be heard on this? All right, what I'm going to do is close the public hearing and leave it open for written comment until uh, February 15th. And that's the comments will be uh, have to be filed in the clerk's office by 4.30. Thank you, Ms. Sal Master Polo. Any comments on resolutions? Hi, Sal. Good afternoon. Um, just a general comment. Somebody's space bar doesn't work. I can probably find 25 to 30 instances in here where words are squashed together. <laughs> okay. Um, resolution number 102. My first question is, uh, when we give out a bid, do we request a bond? So that if the winner of the bid doesn't deliver, he forfeits something? I don't think none of this type of situation in a deliverable. Certain bids we have bonds, but I don't think in the fuel oil bid. So, therefore, Metro, Metro Fuel got no penalty for not delivering on his contract? They went bankrupt. Okay, okay, yeah, but put it this way, Sal, there would be a penalty okay. anyway because if we were holding a bid bond, it belongs to the trustee. All right. So I guess we don't have to worry about him bidding next year. Uh, Under the same name. Well, well, uh, <laughs> that I don't know about, but yes, you're probably right. Metro. <laughs> Well, the reason I asked the question. I don't think we have it when we afford it. I mean, maybe we should consider taking a bond because in this situation, okay, we're now going to spend probably a lot more money for fuel because we don't have a contract and the prices have changed. So maybe we should consider in an, in an instance where somebody's delivering services to the town and we agree on a price up front, he should have a bond. So that guarantees delivery, and if he doesn't deliver, he forfeits the bond? The way, well, in this case, we, the bond would go to the trustee. But the other thing is they don't bid it like a set price. Most of these bids They usually are, bid it so much over rack. Correct. So right. it doesn't, the price is kind of, it's not a bid where we're getting a better price because it went down or went up. It fluctuates just like everybody else's. 105. What do we have to tell Can we check to see? I don't think we can take a bond. I really don't. And if we do, we, we need to tell the trust. Yeah. What a what? Five? 105. What do we advertise with Suffolk Online Advertising? Oh, we, we, they do our web, oh, okay. our email, and, and spam. So they maintain our website? Yeah. Not the For website. For the purpose of the email. They do the email. Yeah. And they also are. Uh, to the domain name for the town of Riverhead, the town of Riverhead Record Farm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Does anybody else wish to be coming on resolutions? I'm not seeing anybody? Yeah. No. Right? Resolution 83. 83. 2013, Lake River Commission Project, funded in half. Second. Yes. 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 Resolution adopted. Resolution 84. The closure of account in Capital One. So moved. And seconded. 
Express support for relocation and construction of a new animal shelter on town property. So moved. And seconded. Moved and seconded. Vote, please. Leo. Yes. Gabrielson. Yes. Wilkin. Yes. Dunleavy.
Resolution adopted. Resolution 117. Officially naming Field 1 at Veterans Memorial Park is Sergeant Jonathan Kellerfield. So moved. And seconded.
Moved and seconded. Vote, please. Yes. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Wooten. Yes. Dunning. Yes. Walter. Yes. Resolution adopted. Resolution 128. The plan is served throughout the flight, so it was property and authorized the disposal thereof. So moved. And seconded. Giglio. Epstein. Gabrielson. Yes. Wooten. Yes. Dunleavy. I understand that you didn't have a fact that that's not a word. Yes, it was. It was just in the home. Yeah, and we sit there, so just force those traffic lights because it's not. Walter. Yes. Resolution adopted. Uh, resolution 129. Ever had downtown revitalization improvement projects? Second. Yes. 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 For referee on quiet services at the Town of Redhead Police Athletic League, girls and boys were brought and football program for 2013 and only a year. So moved. Second. 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 Yes. 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 Resolution 126 did not have Bill Duffy's name in it? No, we added it. Yeah. Okay. That would be the amendment. That would be the amendment to it. Anybody else wish to be heard? Let's see it. Can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. All those favor? Aye. All right. Thank you, everyone.